Welcome back to Gin Reviews of Middle Tennessee. It's been a hell of a weekend. Hell of a week. So tonight, uh, I thought I would uh, dip into one that I've been saving for a while here. It's Tinkerman's. Great name, right? Tinkerman's Citrus Supreme Gin. It's from uh, Bowman, uh, A. Smith Bowman in Virginia. Uh, it's a contemporary grain. Yeah, shiny. Grain is the base spirit, as uh, we don't know what that means, but I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of wheat corn mixture. Okay, good girl. So there's eight botanicals in this guy right here, which are coriander, elderflower, juniper, of course, lemon, lemongrass, lime, orange, and vanilla. Can't wait to try this. Citrus Supreme Gin is one of three gins in the distillery line of Tink Tinkerman's, which is also known for their whiskey and bourbons coming from Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Not the West one. The good one. Master Distiller Brian Pewitt. Or Pewitt, Pewitt, Pewitt. That's his name. Awesome man. He's been there a while. He came over from Colorado, I believe. And uh, he's up there and he's working with the copper still, which you could see right here on it. And they nicknamed it George after the elder statesman of the family, their copper pot. I love it when they name their copper pot stills. I really do. I would. But it'd be some weird name. Probably not George. All right. Well, let's open this little guy. Just little basket right up here. As you can see, there I have two of them. Uh, I don't have the third. This was the. This came out 2019. Uh, it's a little, little last year. But I, I, I really do like this one here. It's actually had one before it. Uh, but this one I've never tried, and I've heard such good things. Yeah, there it is. All right. A decent pop from the cork. And, uh... Mm. Juniper right away, obviously. Uh, the vanilla is there. The elderflower is popping a little bit. Lemon. Citrus. Because, as it is known, or it's called, it is the Citrus Supreme Series. Actually, I'm sorry. This is the Citrus Supreme 4.2. That's the batch gin recipe. <laughs> that one over there is, what, 7.4? That's curiously bright and complex, as this one is Citrus Supreme. As, you know, if you've been watching this channel, you know I love citrus in my gins. So. Hmm. Heavy juniper. The alcohol in the background. It, it, where are we at here? What was it? A 46%. I like that a lot. I'm really digging that. The, uh, like I said, the lemongrass, the lemon itself, the elderflower, lime zest. Hmm. Well, it's definitely stronger than it smells. <laughs> you know, it's not bad, but it's not a neat gin. It's it's definitely a mixing gin. We're gonna have to do a GNT with it. Um, the burn, the travels pretty well. It's going down slightly on point where it should be. Um, you know, the botanicals are popping, but they're not... Actually, you know what? I take it back. Maybe I had a little cloudiness in the sinuses. Juniper is in... <clears throat> it's in the forefront, which I love. I mean, that's good. It has to be, right? I mean, if it's not juniper, it's not gin, as we all know. Citrus, though, is definitely there. I, I need to mix it with the tonic and 
I needed the array of citrus that I had already selected and peeled for this demonstration. Uh, let's see here. Let's put the old Eicher and big old double Collins. Uh, shot at it. Right here so we could pop the top off the fever tree. Yeah, love that. Wow. All right, so. Uh, mm, yeah, it definitely is a gin and tonic or a cocktail style gin. It is bold with that brightness of citrus. I definitely do have that. So tonight, I'm going all out. I'm going to go the full Monty, which I haven't done in a while here. But we're going to go lime, Peruvian, uh, grapefruit tonight. It's not uh, Texas, it's California. I'm going to try that one, see how that's going. Is it sweet or bitter? I don't know yet. Lemon, because there's lemongrass and lemon in it. And of course, orange. Alright, we got all four in there tonight. Let's see what happens. I've been thirsty right now for something. But glad it's this. Cheers. Salute. To your health. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, like I said before, and I'll upping again here. It definitely needs the mixture of the quinine, of the tonic, a good tonic. You gotta have something decent. You can't have a, a Quate brand or whatever Walmart brand is. I don't, I don't dig that one. Mm. It's all mixed together beautifully in this glass of love right here. So, what I really do like about these bottles here, ain't she sweet? <laughs> I like the transparency on the bottle itself. It tells you right away what's in it, what what's going on. There's a lot of information right there on the bottle. I don't have to do so much research off the internet, but I do anyway. And yeah, I got a lot of. Um, well, go to their website. You will be surprised how much information is on that website. It is very deep. Um, rich, citrusy, resinous oil on the back end. I like this a lot. You know what? Coriander actually is now making an, an impression on me. That juniper, though, it's stabbing me. Stabby. Stabby juniper. Try this um, grapefruit alone here. Grapefruit very sweet. It's not, you know what it is? It's Seville orange. It's Seville orange. I could, I, I get the hint of that in the background. It's a rounded. It's a rounded cocktail. I wish I had a little bit more ice in it though. That was a, uh, on my fault because. I've been uh, doing a little, <laughs> I cut my ice a little too ahead of schedule here, and it melted, it melted, and uh, so I don't have as much ice as I would usually do in a gin tonic, but I'm going to fix that in about two seconds. Anyway, so one of my shortest reviews right here, done right, done, done on time, uh, go out and get a bottle of this, I'm telling you, you're going to like it. Uh, in comparison from these two, I, I do I do think the bright and complex there's a there's a little bit more um, Asian influence in this green bottle back here. Um, if you like the teas in your gin, the the uh, Asian um, gun gunpowder uh, black uh, orange pico, they, they, there's that in the back of it. So that it is it is a nice. Edition, I do like that in, in a modern contemporary gin. That is actually on point. 
for a contemporary gin, I do taste a lot of, I do, like I said all night, all this time right here, juniper is definitely involved, but there's more to this than meets the eye, or behold in the cup of love here. <laughs> mm. Anyway, from this big goofy bastard to you, have a good night, drink gin, and rock on.